Welcome to Heritage and Ludlow College Folly Lane Campus Reception. Students can come to reception any time between 8.30 and 5, Monday to Thursday, 8.30 and 4.30 on a Friday. You can ask any inquiries um, in relation to admissions, finance, exams, uh, directions, uh, the receptionist is, is always happy to help. Welcome to the Learning Resource Centre which is also known as the LRC. Here we have a large amount of computers that you can access. We also have printers that are all around the campus that you can uh, do your printing from. Once you've enrolled as a student here, you have £5 credit that is automatically uh, allocated to your account. Uh, once that, that's been used up, you can then use the Student Hub Desk to, um, to add print to your account or add credit to your account for you to be able to print. Uh, here in the LRC we have a wide range of resources uh, available for you to assist with your studies which include books, e-books, magazines and journals. The Hereford University Centre is, works in partnership with the University of Worcester and with this we bring regular events, lectures and talks on a variety of subjects. Uh, for, for more information please see our website. Welcome to the Student Hub Desk. Here you can pick up any uh, travel pass that has been ordered through Herefordshire Council, so that's train and bus. We also issue temporary parking passes here, um, but ideally students should order a, a permanent parking pass. These are £5 for the year, whereas our temporary are £2 for a day. Uh, they are uh, on a first come, first served basis. It doesn't guarantee you a spot, um, but it is advisable to order these online. This can be done once you've um, enrolled at the college and have your student ID. We also offer a careers advice, which is an uh, impartial information and guidance that um, you can book an appointment or just drop in to see how careers advisor. She is also based in the LRC. We also have a small amount of stationery that we sell at a reduced cost, including uh, memory sticks. If you would like to use any of the resources within the LRC, please come to the Student Hub Desk where our Student Hub Assistants are happy to assist you. Once, once you've enrolled with the college, you'll be issued a, um, a student lanyard with an ID card. You'll need this to access the printers for your printing and also to access um, any doors through to the buildings. If you happen to lose this, it will, um, you can come to the, the LRC and we can replace this for you. Upstairs from the LRC is the study centre. This is also known as the pods. Students will come here if they're not studying English and Maths alongside their main course during their directed study sessions. Uh, if you have any additional learning support needs, um, then the learning support team are also based up here. This is one of our plumbing workshops designed for a level one course, which encompasses electrical installation and uh, plumbing. All the tools and equipment are provided. So, so the facility has uh, extraction, uh, pipe bending machines, all hand tools with regards to battery drills, and you work with different equipment like copper, plastic, and low carbon steel. This is an electrical installation workshop. We have uh, four electrical installation workshops. This is a predominantly a level two. A uh, good range of tools which were all provided. Uh, students generally work in half a workshop for a whole year. They build up equipment uh, and uh, installations which are then tested and then shift on. Good range of plastic, metal, uh, uh, wiring systems and a good range of work that is done on sign and replicated here in the workshops. This is a brickwork uh, workshop. Uh, in here the students uh, gain skills to build uh, straight brickwork walls, curved walls, buttresses uh, with lintels in, they work with block work. All the personal protective equipment is provided and tools. Uh, the mortar is pre-mixed outside uh, and brought into this workshop.
This is a level two plumbing workshop. Uh, once again, we have bending machines, all the equipment needed for a level two plumbing course. Uh, the students are required to build up actual bay installations like a bathroom, uh, where you'll be doing radiators, sinks, toilets, uh, any other associated hot water or cold water systems. Uh, this is maintenance operation area. Uh, we have an apprenticeship and a full-time course. So you'll work with uh, structures like uh, carpentry and joinery, uh, plastering, painting, a little bit of plumbing, tiling, uh, and brickwork. This is a level one electrical installation uh, workshop. Uh, one of the bays uh, is wooden. We use different types of things like plastic, metal trunking, all the tools are provided. There's a one year course and would progress on to a level two, uh, but to become fully qualified in electrical installation, it is at level three. So that is at an apprenticeship level. This is a level one uh, carpentry and joinery uh, workshop. In here, the students will be given the opportunity to learn how to do different joints, uh, making things what we call frames. This is just a smaller condensed version of uh, the, uh, what they'll be expected to do on sites. Uh, sinking things like locks. Tools provided. Uh, we have uh, whiteboards in the rooms and a well spaced out workshop with all the tools provided. This is for students that are working on bench joinery. Uh, this here has a lot of uh, equipment with regards to 3D routers, thicknesses, panel saws, uh, ripping saws. For students that work with tools, we might be making a staircase, window casements. This is the machine shop where a lot of students on the carpentry and joining courses get the opportunity to use the power tools and machines uh, that are required for ripping down pieces of timber, changing their profile. Furniture making. This is where students take ideas and a creative side with regards to designing cabinetry uh, and then take them from design stage through to build. Um, the, all the tools are provided, equipment and machinery. Uh, all that's needed is a creative student's imaginations to create pieces of work. This is more of a traditional craft which uses uh, a lot of uh, hand tools with regards to chisels, planers, although we still also have new tools, power tools like routers, chop saws, mortises uh, and thickness. Hi, welcome to the Motor Vehicle Workshop. In this workshop, we are training people to be uh, mechanics, motor vehicle mechanics. So you will find the kind of equipment in here that you would find in a high level motor vehicle dealership. We have a range of vehicles, including four wheel drive and hybrid vehicles, and a, all the equipment that you need to repair those vehicles, including tire changing, wheel alignment, and fault diagnosis machines. Welcome to the engineering workshop. In this workshop, we are training people to be mechanical engineers. So you will find all the equipment you need to make engineering components. So we have a range of equipment, including CNC, mills and lathes and we also have the tra more traditional equipment such as the straightforward mechanical lathes and the mechanical mills. In this area you're uh, learning all the techniques associated with the mass manufacture of engineering components so uh, we're currently looking at a robot, uh, which it, you'll learn the techniques associated with assembling engineering components, uh, 
um, along with the mass production line techniques associated with hydraulics and pneumatics, PLCs. In this area, you will learn all about music production techniques, including the sound engineering aspects of music and the mixing together of different tracks using our state-of-the-art recording studios and equipment. In this area, you will learn all the technologies associated with computing, from the hardware and replacement of the physical components to software, networking, uh, all the way down to the virtual reality games design techniques. The, those are all incorporated within the courses in this area. Across our Foundation Studies courses, students are able to utilise a wide variety of facilities, including the Hinton Community Centre, where they help prepare meals and serve them to the public. Uh, this is one of the, uh, the two beauty salons that we have here at the college. Uh, this particular room has 16 couches, the secondary one has, has uh, 20 couches where students work uh, with and work on fee paying clients uh, that come in from outside uh, having a whole variety of different treatments. Here the, the students uh, benefit from, from the staff expertise with, with uh, the, the latest approaches and techniques to beauty and holistic qualifications. Welcome to our hairdressing salon. Uh, here we have a, a salon, a, a realistic working salon where students benefit and enjoy working with fee paying clients from external to the college. Uh, we have 22 hairdressing barbering seats throughout the whole salon. Uh, there's uh, some hair washing stations as well. Uh, here the, the students enjoy uh, themed competitions throughout the whole year uh, and learning a whole variety of traditional but also creative um, hairdressing te and barbering techniques. Um, anything from, from evening to, to bridal. This is one of two kitchens that we have at the college. Uh, we have this particular kitchen which serves the Cider Orchard restaurant. Again, um, serving customers that come into our college to eat in our restaurant. Uh, we have a second kitchen as well, that's what we call the training and skills kitchen. There within that kitchen uh, students learn how to create and are assessed in their creation of dishes that go towards their professional cookery qualifications. In this kitchen just here, this kitchen is more about providing students with the opportunity to develop their skills in an industrial realistic working environment. Um, and again, they, they, they love the experience of working in, in both different kitchens. We also have a restaurant in the front that seats between 30 and 40 customers on, on any given occasion. Their students study, um, as well as the professional cookery qualification here, they study the food and beverage, um, uh, you know, hospitality based qualifications out in the front. So students here actually get benefit from studying both qualifications, both professional cookery and food and beverage service. Hi there folks, my name is Craig Smith, I work at the Heaven Ludlow College and we'd like to welcome you to our new Strength Conditioning Centre at the Heaven Ludlow College, Peak Fitness. We've created this gym to help with our students and staff's uh, mental and emotional well-being but it also links into unit content to help students with their strength conditioning as part of their college courses. A lot of the equipment in this gym was kindly donated by Vince McNally from uh, Hinton Boxing Club who gave us some of our equipment to help our students become fitter and better athletes. We have an array of equipment from strength conditioning to cardiovascular to metabolic condition equipment that our students can use and our staff to help develop their fitness and their emotional and mental well-being. Yet we have an array of equipment for strength conditioning and bodyweight exercises ranging from medicine balls, sandbags, foam rollers, fit balls, kettlebells and all sorts of equipment that can be used for functional fitness so our students can take part in small group workout exercise sessions. Yeah, we have a full pulley cable system with 100 kilograms either side. This is a, a favourite for a lot of the students to use to work on their strength and conditioning. And there are plenty of uh, 
compartments and things you can attach to this to make exercises varied. We have two fully functioning um, squat rack rig systems with over 350 kilograms of Olympic plates. We have five Olympic standard bars and an easy bar with full clips and locking mechanism clips. We have a glute hang device, GHD, which is working your lower back and core muscles. We have a very kind rig donated from Southwy Hinson Boxing Club, Vince McNally. This is a state-of-the-art rig. It did originally have an Olympic lifting platform on it, but frankly, it was that big, we could barely get it through the door. We have three fully functioning benches that can go full incline and full decline. We have a squat rack machine, which is plate loaded. Uh, another favorite of the students, they get very competitive on this one. We have an array of fixed barbells going from 10 kilograms up to 45 kilograms for any students who would like to work on their strength conditioning. We have uh, a multitude of different cardiovascular machines ranging from the Taurus treadmill. Um, a lot of our equipment is Life Fitness, which is some of the best uh, equipment on the market. We have lots of functional fitness cardiovascular machines which work in your metabolic conditioning, such as the Air Rower, which is a great bit of kit. The students hate it because it's very, very difficult. And we have the Assault Bike, which is also a, a fan favorite for students to get competitive on. And we have some static bikes. We have an array of dumbbells going from uh, two kilograms up to 30 kilograms in 2.5 increments. And we have some functional fitness um, box jumping boxes, which are soft land platform to help with our students with their functional fitness development.